Okay, let's see if I can explain how this works and stop action. We've got a 12-volt uh, battery there with positive and negative leads coming out. So the uh, negative comes into here. And that negative terminal on that block. The positive comes in through here to this fuse holder. And when that's closed, it comes through here. And this terminal block here, and then it goes into the relay to uh, close it. So we're turning that on now. Now we got power in that relay. So that's closed the circuit here in the green block between this wire and that wire. So this wire, it's, it's just a, a test wire, but this wire would have a diode on it so that it can only go one way just to make sure everything's electrically separated. That there's a diode in there and then that goes up to each rank on the organ. So that's one rank. So that comes in here, that's the negative, and that's being connected here with the relay to here. This fuse holder is a fuse in here, and then it comes out here to this negative wire here, which goes to the negative bus on the uh, rectifier. Right now I've got eight connected here. I could cut this here, separate it out into two groups of four. So I've got one wire from here and one wire from there going to the uh, rectifier if I want. If I feel it might be a little less of a load, but uh, there's really not all that much of a load on it. So, uh, let's see, I think that pretty well explains it all. So we got the grate here, and then the, or the swell there, and then the grate here, whichever winds up uh, working out. It doesn't really matter which side is which. I have the other module board. I just, uh, it's in use right now. I just have to disconnect it and then connect it here with these uh, wires and so forth. So, um, these module boards are made by uh, Winford. And they're very nice. Uh, Winford.com, uh, one of the technical guys, uh, suggested these in place of what I was going to do along with using the DIN rails and the uh, fuse holders. So that worked out really well. And uh, I think they had one, two, four, eight modules. In fact, I just decided to go with the four modules uh, boards, and then I bought four of those. So that's uh, all that I need. But I got them mounted on here. They're not on here real snug. They're just uh, somewhat floating in case things move. So uh, that's how that works. Hopefully that will explain uh, the concept behind that. So it's real simple. I mean, it's just uh, this, uh, the stop tab on the console is going to be putting the power into here. And then the negative for that to complete the circuit makes the relay go on. There is a flyback diode here. So when the tab is turned off, you don't get the flyback uh, uh, current going into the... Uh, finger contacts in the console and so forth. So it's actually a really nice uh, little system here they have with these boards. And uh, so uh, this should work out pretty nicely. I've had one board in use for several weeks now and it, it barely got even more than pleasantly warm on the, on the uh, circuitry where even though it was on continuously for an hour or more, while I was practicing, so uh, that's going to work out just fine.